So, what have we got for you? Um, we're going to be introducing you to our Yetta Parker young artists. These guys are really going to be the, the opera stars of tomorrow, and they'll be working in rehearsal with you um, this afternoon. We've got uh, Ji Hun, who's uh, our tenor. He's quite a high male voice. Then we've got David, he's a baritone, lower voice, not the lowest you can get, and they're going to be working through a, a scene. Jean-Paul is at the piano, and to lead us through it all is Radula, who's our director. So please welcome Radula. Hello. Welcome to this afternoon's open rehearsal of The Barber of Seville. Before rehearsing the scene, I'd like to introduce you to the team. You have to know that in theatre always, it's not just the performers or the director or the pianist indeed. It's a team's work and a team's effort. So apart from our performers, we have Warren in the lighting boards, which is just behind you, and Steve in the sound board up there. Now, this whole scene takes place in a public square. So I'd like to create a bit of street life in the background, and for that, I so will need your help. Can I have 15 volunteers? So please, come on stage. I uh, will need as well a volunteer who can read music. Yeah, you can read music? Can you be our stage manager? Yes? Yeah, thank you. Come with me. Now, what we are going to do is have a bit of uh, background action, okay? So I'd like to have my friend here. You are going to distribute some free press, okay? You waiting for your friend. The three of you uh, drawing lovely and nice and big graffiti in the back wall. And can I have you as drunk people? Can we, see, can we see a bit of drunk acting, yeah? And you two boys, can you be uh, thieves? So, <laughs> <laughs> so uh, one of you will go for a wallet, yeah? And the other one will be trying to sell um, the stolen watches that he got last night, yeah? <laughs> Lovely. Now, um, here is our stage. This area is called the downstage. We have the middle stage and we have the upstage, yeah? We have our lovely singers uh, moving to the downstage area, so please don't come far too far downstage. Our graffiti people, come with me. I'd like you to mime drawing a nice and big graffiti. They kind of go like this, and then they take a step and look at it, and mm, I think I'll add some color here, and they add some color here, so go for the full thing. Um, our thieves, yes. Now, who's going, you're going to do the wallets, yeah? yeah? And you're, where are your watches? They are here, yeah. <laughs> I'd like you all to make your entrances from here. And where is my stage manager? Stage manager, come here. This is your book. And I've marked all the different cues for you in here. So we are going to start from the recit. There are no cues from in the recit. And then you have a go for the free press person then a go for the girl waiting, then a go for the graffiti people. Yeah? Is that simple? Do you think we can do that? Yeah? yeah? yeah. Cool. It's your responsibility to organize them. This is the order. You have to organize them backstage in the right order. My friend Tom will give you a hand with that, so you don't have to really, really worry. And now, how are we going to make our exit and what happens at the end of the scene? At the end of the scene, there's a very big storm coming, which is... Yeah? 
Okay, let's give it a go then. Ooh. That was lovely, but um, we had a very interesting thing going on. If we were doing a proper production, the whole thing would be much more low-key, because otherwise you draw our whole focus, and then we don't pay attention to those gentlemen who are singing beautifully, and they are acting their socks out. And, you get fired. and then you get fired. <laughs> But that was really good, well done, brilliant team. What is it about opera directing that really caught you? Mm, I think opera, it's a, a very, it's a very special thing, because it's all about the relationship uh, between the text and the music, and it's all about having a dialogue, basically, and as an art form, I believe an art form should reflect our society, so... It's all so about... Like, like Anna Nicole, it's absolutely trying to reflect our society at the moment. A contemporary opera, taking a contemporary story, sticking it exactly. in an opera house, it's absolutely relevant to audiences today and it can speak just as well as one of the great operas from 100 mm. years ago. I hope you've enjoyed it. Please 
Just put your hands together for Rudula, for Jean-Paul on the piano, for Jihan, and for David. Thank, Thank you, you. Sage Manager. That was brilliant. Good work, man. <laughs>